Welcome to the next class. Now I'm going to continue with the control structures. Switch case is now what we are going to see. I am opening with my notepad plus plus and taking a new file. Then after that, saving the file in my folder. Here I'll save it as SWT. It means switch dot java then my class name should also be SWT I'm importing my header files import java dot io dot star then my next header import java dot util dot star then I'm going to declare my class with the name of my file then opening it then my public static void main with the string argument then after that I'm going to pass my argument value then let me de declare some values my integer i equal to 2 then entering into my switch case switch case is stand with the name switch and inside that i'm calling a variable inside a switch case we have to use only the variable not the numbers this is the condition of the switch case then it is case 1 case space then after the case number we have to use a colon not the semicolon then getting into my case 1 it is system dot out dot print ln and now I am printing some statement when I am calling my first case let me type it as the number is 1 this is what going to be obtained in the output statement now my case is over and I have to break the case break statement is a default statement for each of the case whichever the case is started we have to use a break that is the rule for the switch case now I'm going to create multiple cases now I'm going to rename the case it's 2 for this it has to be printed as the number is 2 and again breaking the statement and here I'm changing my case 3 and it is going to print it as the number is 3 then after that a default case has to be assigned since switch case must have some default value if none of the case is entered default colon then we are printing the statement as some invalid number if other than these three cases some other number is entered means it will show it as invalid number this is how it is going to get printed here for the default case it seems not no need of the break statement then after that I'm closing my switch case closing my public static and closing my class this is how I'm going to do my program I'm saving my program then after I'm going to compile it entering into my command prompt get the exact location of my folder then I will get my batch file these two are my batch files I'm going to compile my program swt dot java this is my compiling and the compiling process is going on if there is an error it will get displayed below here it is no error 
I am going to run my program. Java space SWT. The number is 2. Since I given as into, the number is given here as 2. Let me change it with some other different option. It is scanner space object of the scanner equal to new space system dot in with the scanner then after I am going to get my i value with this coding I am going to get my i value in the runtime here I am getting as enter the case then I will obtain the proper output as a sign then after that I have to declare my i value and after this I am going to get it as i is equal to a dot next int since I'm going to get it as int value I'm going to change this declaration then saving the program then entering into my command prompt after compiling and there is an error int cannot be redefined so I'm taking this value then again saving the program after that get compiled of the program I'm having an another error which is a variable a I'm going to get it as string space a this is how how to declare the variable let me get it as character then save the file after that running the program I'm having still having an error a character cannot be redefined so I'm going to declare both as n int an int cannot be redefined it will show so let me change this value as i and get the value now saving the file again getting into my command prompt again compiling my program in cannot be redefined how to get the value so we are now going to change the value by getting it here plus This is how I'm going to get my value. And again here I'm going to compile my program. Plus i is not initialized. So I'm initializing this as 3. Without using my standard statement let me do the switch case. So again compiling my program no error since we doesn't need the concatenation right here we are directly call the case so hereby we call the case directly so there is no need of the scanner statement then compiling it then running the program enter the case the number is 3 this is the switch program concept and it has cases and also the default case these are several cases and each case need a break and for default there is no break. This is how we are going to do a switch program. Thank you for listening and see you in the next class.